Hope we didn't keep you waiting, Holmes. No, I was just chilling. <laughs> I bet you were. At the dossier? Hand it over. Hey, everything cool now? I don't know, Carl. Eddie? Ah, our boy's done good. No! Oh! You snitch piece of shit! You Vato asshole! You sold us out! Time to dig, Carl. You take care of things. Huh? Where are you going? To get drunk and get laid. You got a problem with that? No, Frank, relax. Good. I'll see you back at the precinct. And I'll see you in the next life, Carl. That's good. That's deep enough for two. Eddie, Tampenny just using you. He's using all of us. <sighs> You're the next one he's gonna silence, man. Shut the fuck up, scum! And it's Officer Pulaski to you! Fucking die! Penny gonna rub you out too. Carl, you got it all wrong, pal. Ken Penny was the one saving your ass. Every time I wanted to get rid of you, he'd find some excuse to keep you alive. Now it's up to me and I ain't such a fucking soft touch. So how's your sister? I always had a thing for her. Ken Penny and I got some great shots of her and her burial boyfriend going at it like a couple of horny chihuahuas. Man, does she put out like a pro. Screw you, Pulaski. I know what you're trying to do. You ain't gonna crawl inside my head. I ain't kidding. You should have seen your mom's before she was buried. She was a real mess. Most of her face was hanging off. Don't fucking talk about my mom's. The boys, you know, they fooled around with her at the scene, you know, pushing her and joking around and shit. Not feeling so fucking full of yourself now, huh? <coughs> yeah, well, them's the brakes, fuck. Any last requests? Yeah. <laughs> Can I fuck your sister? You an asshole to the end, punk motherfucker. Somebody will. Somebody.